the value of most assets, such as a car or computer, depreciate over time. Suppose a car has an initial value of $15,750 and depreciates $920 per year, which means it decreases in value $920 each year. Let an expression to represent the value of the car after t years. Because t is the number of years, the value of the car after t years is equal to $15,750 minus $920 times t, which means the expression to represent the value of the car is $15,750 minus 920t. Remember, 920t means 920 times t. Next, set up an equation that answers the question, how long will it take for the value of the car to decrease to $5,000? Solve and interpret the meaning and context, round to the nearest tenth of a year. The equation that will answer this question is the equation formed by setting this expression equal to 5,000, which means the equation is 15,750 minus 920t equals 5,000. And now we will solve the equation for t. The first step is to isolate the variable term on one side of the equation by adding or subtracting. To isolate negative 920t on the left, we need to undo 15,750 by subtracting 15,750 on both sides of the equation. Remember, when solving an equation, we always perform the same operation on both sides of the equation, and therefore the result is an equivalent equation. Simplifying, this difference is zero, which is the reason why we subtracted 15,750 on both sides of the equation. The left side of the equation is now negative 920t equals, on the right side, 5,000 minus 15,750 is equal to negative 10,750. Now that we've isolated the variable term on one side of the equation, the next step is to multiply or divide to isolate the variable and solve the equation. And because negative 920t means negative 920 times t, to undo the multiplication and solve for t, we divide both sides by a negative 920. Simplifying, negative 920 divided by negative 920 is equal to one, one times t is t. We have t equals this quotient, which we are asked to round to the nearest tenth. So let's go ahead and find this quotient, but because a negative divided by a negative is positive, and so is the quotient of two positives, when we determine the quotient, let's write it as 10,750 divided by 920. Now we begin dividing. We first ask how many 920s are in 1,075, which is one. 1 times 920 is 920. And now we subtract. 5 minus 0 is 5. 7 minus 2 is 5. And 10 minus 9 is 1. Because this difference is less than 920, we know the one, the quotient, is correct. We bring down the next digit, which is 0. And now ask how many 920s are in 1,550, which I believe is still 1. 1 times 920 is 920. We subtract, zero minus zero is zero, five minus two is three, 15 minus nine is six. Notice how the difference is less than 920. But we need to round to the nearest tenth, and therefore, we need to keep going. So we add a decimal point to the dividend and the quotient, and now we can add zeros to the right of the decimal point. So we add a zero and bring it down, and now ask how many 920s are in 6,300, which I believe is six. Now we multiply, six times zero is zero, six times two is 12, record the two, perform an exchange, six times nine is 54, plus one is 55. And now we subtract, zero minus zero is zero. Here we need to perform an exchange. The three becomes a two, and now we have a 10 in the tens place value. 10 minus two is eight from another exchange, and we have 12 minus five, which is seven. Notice 780 is less than 920, the six is correct. 
Because we're rounding to the nearest tenth though, we need one more digit in the quotient. So we add another zero, bring it down, and now ask how many 920s are in 7,800, which I believe is eight. Now we multiply, eight times zero is zero, eight times two is 16, record the six, perform an exchange, eight times nine is 72, plus one is 73. Subtract, zero minus zero is zero, perform an exchange here, 10 minus six is four, seven minus three is four, seven minus seven is zero. Again, 440 is less than 920, the eight is correct, and now we can round the quotient to the tenths place value. The six is in the tenths place value, and the eight indicates you round up to 11.7. So t is approximately 11.7, which means after approximately 11.7 years, the car's value has decreased to $5,000. Let's write this as a sentence. I hope you found this helpful.